Hey y'all, so I'm here to do my project pan update. Um, I think I'm about, I don't know, three weeks into this, maybe a month. Um, I don't, I don't really remember. But, um, I've used up half of the products there about that I've wanted to use up. So I thought I would update you guys so I can get this stuff out of my apartment and continue on with the project. So, I guess I'll start with the makeup things I've finished. I finished um, four things that were on my Project 10 Pan makeup list. The first one is the Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer from the Balm. And I love this stuff. I still love this stuff. I get compliments when I wear it. Um, I will absolutely buy this again once I use up some of the other stuff that, some of the other foundations and tinted moisturizers and stuff that I have. Next, the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection Powder. Completely gone. It was the one that was divided into fours, and it was like yellow, pink, blue, and green. I'm sorry, I'm blinding you guys. I apologize. Um, this went super fast. Um, thank God, because I hated it, and I will never buy it again. Then my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I had said I was going to throw this away at the end of October. Um, it didn't. It didn't last that long. It's it's completely dried out and nasty. And I mean, you can see like nothing's coming off of there. So that's done. And then the last thing that I had in my makeup project pan was the Vitamin C Skin Boost from the Body Shop. And like I said, I use this as a primer. It works really, really well as a primer. I've been sort of bouncing back and forth between some primers that I have. Um, some of them will show up in empty, that my monthly empties, because I'm still going to do that. I still have a ton of empties that weren't on my project. Um, I love this. I'll repurchase it again, likely, in the future. Um, but right now I have a lot of primers to get through, so that's that. Then, of course, I used up more of my, the, the items on my Bath & Body tin pan as opposed to my makeup tin pan. I mean, you guys know that it's just easier to go through Bath & Body products. So I'll go ahead and start talking about those. The first was this little perfume sample of the DKNY Be Delicious. This was okay. Um, I thought this was supposed to smell like green apples for some reason. Maybe I was wrong. It smells like florally pears to me. And I didn't care for it. I mean, it was alright. I didn't mind using it, but I wouldn't purchase it or anything like that. I used up my St. Ives Naturally Clear Green Tea Scrub. I liked this a lot. I have two other facial scrubs right now and then I, I might purchase this again. I don't know. I like to kind of switch it up sometimes, but this was a good product and I wouldn't mind having it again. I used up my Lush Gumback Express Shower Smoothie and this is the one that smelled like bananas and it had, I mean it's cleaned out now, but it had the um, bits of ground almonds in it. I hated this stuff. Like it smelled really good and I didn't mind what it did for my body, but Gosh, it left a ma mess in my bathtub. Oh, it left my bathtub disgusting. So I would never, ever, ever repurchase this, even though it smelled really good. I finished up the Pantene Fine Hairstyle Spray Gel Root Lifter. This, I said in my last video, and I stand by it. It wasn't anything special. I didn't mind using it. It didn't do anything bad for my hair, but it didn't do anything good either. So that is done. I used up my L'Oreal Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser. I kept the little scrubby in my bathtub because I like it and it's not, you know, yuck, disgusting yet. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, I like this stuff. I said in my last video that I would likely repurchase this again, but I would get the one with the salicylic acid instead of this one. But it was fine. I liked it. All right, and then on to stuff from the body shop. Um, this Tea Tree Blemish Fade Night Lotion, I used this up. I really, really like this stuff. I think it does great things for my face. I didn't know how much I liked it until I went without it for about a week. And my face has completely freaked out. So I went and bought another one of these. Hopefully that's what was causing, you know, my skin to not, not act right. Then the last two are these banana, um, the shampoo and conditioner. I'm so glad these are done. I actually started to not hate them toward the end, but I'm I'm glad they're done and I won't buy them again. They smell good, but you know, whatever. Then I have the rest of the stuff from the project. 
to show you guys and talk about the progress that I've made on it. Let me get all that out. Okay. So the first one is this La Petite Robe Noir um, perfume. I hate this so much. It stinks. Um, I, I can't stand it. I don't want to use it. I... I'm going to, though. I'm going to make myself, but I hate it. Um, I've used probably three or four days, so, you know. Then my Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, it's down a little bit. It was up to about, like, right here, I think. I don't use this every day, though. I just don't find that it does anything. I think, I think my skin does the same thing whether I put this on or not, so I don't know. I'm not using it like I should. <laughs> I should just use it and get rid of it. Then I have my Retread Conditioner that I said I was considering using as more of a hair mask deep conditioner treatment thing. And I've done that twice, and I actually really like it. I think it, it makes my hair nice. Let me get it open. Um, it was almost full. It was up to about here when I started. Now, you can see it's pretty far down. It's only got like that. Um, I probably don't even have enough for another deep conditioning treatment, but I'm going to use it that way as much as I can and then be done with it. Um, this Bedhead Control Freak Ex Extra Extra Straight Hair Straightener that doesn't work. Um, it was almost full when I started. It was way up here. Now, let's see. It feels like it's about down to here. I've used it um, almost every day. I, I forget to use this stuff sometimes, but I try. I try to remember, but it's about down to here. So I've still got a long ways to go with that. Next is my, um, it's the Pantene medium to thick heat protectant spray that I put into this bottle because I hated the trigger on the original one. It's down to here, so not a whole lot of that left, and I, I use this every day because I straighten my hair every day. Then the makeup products. These are kind of hard to tell where they are in comparison to where they were, but I'll do my best. First is the e.l.f. Uh, luscious liquid lipstick in the color pink lemonade. I've used, I don't know, probably maybe half of what I originally had. I don't know, maybe a little less than half, but I really like that and I don't mind using it, so that's fine, whatever. Then I have my Time Balm or Liquid Time Balm uh, Spot Concealer from the Balm. I have no way of telling you guys how much this has left. I mean, like I said, I had I've already pulled the stopper out. I pulled the stopper out a while back um, before I even made the Project Pan video, so I, I don't know. But, again, I like that stuff, so whatever. My NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. I still, I still have not hit pan on this, but you can't really see any of the sun rays anymore, and you can definitely see the indention of the pan right there in the middle. So... Soon, hopefully, I will hit pan on that. Then I have my Benefit High Beam, the little mini. I've used quite a bit of this when it originally, when I started the project. You can see it's sort of half full, like this part's entirely empty. Um, originally, it was it was only like maybe this much that was empty. So I've used quite a bit. Um, this is another thing I don't use every day. I forget sometimes, and it's kind of intense. So I have to be careful with it, but it's all right. Whatever. My little mini Bare Minerals Prime Time Eyelid Primer. I'm going to squeeze it and show you guys. Um, I, I don't wear eyeshadow every day. Some days I just don't have time. But I have been wearing it more just to try to get rid of this stuff. Um, and you can see, I mean, it, it's right there when I, right there at the P on Prime Time is where it starts coming out when I squeeze. So, not a whole lot of that left. My MAC Immortal Flower Blush that does not show up on me. Um, you can't really... I mean, there's a little bit of a dip over here, but you're not going to be able to see it on camera. But, I mean, I use this every day. This is the only blush I use. If I use another blush, I always put this over it. Um, because you can't see it anyway. Um, but, I mean, I use this every day, so we'll see. I don't know how, how close I am. 
I have my NYC brow and eyeliner pencil. Um, this is the black one. Ugh, I can't get it open. Okay. Um, I've sharpened it down quite a bit. It was probably about out to here. I've still got a long way to go, but I like this stuff so it doesn't bother me. I use it every single day. And then last is my Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey lip balm that I use every night. That's how much I have left. I don't remember how much I had before, but I don't know. I feel like I'm making progress on this. Like for a long, long time, I felt like I wasn't, like it was going nowhere fast. And now I feel like it's actually going down and I'm actually making progress on it. So I'm ready for this to be done. I really, I'm ready. So that is the update on my Project Pan makeup and bath and body. I've actually um, been looking for things to replace the things I've used. Like, for instance, this Gumback Express, now that I'm done with it, I'm using a different Lush shower smoothie that I've now sort of, I'm working on, you know, finishing that up. So I guess it could be, you could say it's included in my Project Pan. Um, I'm working on another shampoo and conditioner, obviously. I'm working on another face scrub. So I may come back with like an updated Project Pan because I'm not ready to stop this yet. Um, so, I mean, I'd like to keep going and keep adding things and keep working toward using up my products. So, um, yeah, if you guys like to see an updated list, let me know and I will film that and get it up for you guys. Other than that, I will talk to you later. Bye.